So here's the answer to your burning question. Did they really find a megalodon in the Mariana Trench? Ooh. Reports of megalodon sightings can be found on many different websites. Science tells us that megalodon sharks are extinct, but could they still be alive in the deepest parts of the ocean? Humans are fascinated by sharks. The bigger the shark is, the stronger the pull we feel to learn more about them. Given that Megalodon was a massive shark with <laughs> noticeable feeding habits, we guess that if it were still roaming the oceans, it would probably have been spotted by someone by now. But perhaps not if it lived in the deepest place on Earth, the Mariana Trench. Let's see if the claims we've been hearing could be true. But before we jump into solving this mystery, make sure you click the subscribe button and turn on notifications. Now you'll be one of the first brightsiders to watch our new videos. Now, there are plenty of skeptics out there who doubt that Megalodon existed at all. But we do know that the Megalodon shark roamed the oceans as early as 23 million years ago. And we have their fossils to prove their existence. When people first encountered Megalodon teeth, they believed them to be rocks that had made their way to Earth from the moon. But years later, naturalists attributed the fossilized teeth to sharks and then to Megalodon. Megalodon was the biggest shark to terrorize the ocean, and it is thought to have gone extinct 2.6 million years ago. The name Megalodon means big bucks. No, no, uh, it's big tooth. Most of the recovered megalodon fossil teeth have been 4 to 5 inches, but there are a few enormous teeth that are over 7 inches. Did you know that megalodon's bite was more powerful than a Tyrannosaurus rex's? Computer simulations estimate megalodon's bite at 24 to 40,000 pounds of force. With those stats, we'd like to believe that megalodon could survive anything. But why do we believe that megalodon could still be around? Has this sort of situation happened before? The answer is yes. The giant squid seemed to be a mythical creature or thought to be extinct. Scientists eventually learned of its existence from the bodies that washed ashore and the marks they'd left on whales. The world finally got a glimpse of the giant squid in 2006 when Japanese researchers caught one on camera. At 59 feet and weighing nearly a ton, the giant squid is the biggest invertebrate on Earth. That's some calamari. So if the giant squid was hiding from human eyes for hundreds of years, who's to say that Megalodon couldn't be out there as well? Well, there are two big factors to remember if we mean to figure out if a Megalodon shark could still be alive. First, let's explore Megalodon's size. Do you remember we mentioned that a Megalodon's bite was stronger than a T-Rex's? We tend to think of the Tyrannosaurus rex as a massive creature. But if you put a T-Rex next to Megalodon, it might give you some perspective on how big Megalodon actually was. Megalodons could grow up to 60 feet, three times the size of a T-Rex. So you'd know who'd win a fight between these two, if it were in the water. If it's on dry land, hmm, I'm betting on the T-Rex. Now, let's travel east, all the way to the Mariana Islands. If we venture a little beyond them, farther into the Pacific Ocean, we find the Mariana Trench, the deepest part of the ocean and the deepest spot on Earth. The Mariana Trench is nearly 7 miles deep and measures more than 1,500 miles long and 43 miles wide. To put the depth into perspective, if you were to put Mount Everest into the Mariana Trench, the top would still be sticking out. To put the length into perspective, in 1,500 miles, you could fit all the states between Florida and Massachusetts. 1,500 miles is also the distance between Madrid in Spain and Copenhagen in Denmark. Given the size of the Mariana Trench, do you think Megalodon could be living there without people knowing? We certainly think so. Now, there are other elements to consider as well. Let's explore the conditions of life in the Mariana Trench. Could life even exist in there? We know that the Mariana Trench is a place in constant darkness with a pressure of up to 8 tons per square inch. There are vents on the ocean floor that release hydrogen sulfide 
and other minerals at a temperature of 572 degrees Fahrenheit. The deepest part of the Mariana Trench is called Challenger Deep. According to a National Geographic report, there are only three people who have descended into Challenger Deep. The first two people to have reached Challenger Deep spotted a fish and proved that fish could exist in the greatest depths of the ocean. Now we know there are thousands of species of invertebrates and fish. The Mariana Trench holds odd, translucent animals called holothurians, new species of jellyfish, ghostly white octopuses, and many others. And some of those species have a curiously long life. Could Megalodon live in those conditions? If there was a Megalodon shark living down there, it might not look how we imagine them to be. To survive in the Mariana Trench, Megalodon would have had to adapt to the living conditions and evolve. It would also have to switch its diet from whales, dolphins, sea lions, and sea cows to whatever organisms reside in the Mariana Trench and hope that it could find and eat its usual 2,500 pounds of food per day. If Megalodon were to evolve in the Mariana Trench, it's easy to imagine it as a massive bioluminescent shark that can live for hundreds of years and feed off translucent organisms. But that's just speculation. In 1995, filmmaker James Cameron did 12-man submersible dives to the wreck of Titanic to collect samples and record footage for what would become his blockbuster film. Familiar with underwater expeditions, in 2012, he became one of three people to reach Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench. According to the United Nations, there are 7.6 billion people in the world today, and only three of them have made it to the deepest point on Earth. The reality is that, with so little research, it is impossible to know what lies in the depths of the Mariana Trench. Maybe we can ask James Cameron and his team if he happened to see a megalodon tail swoosh by while he was down there. You might keep hearing reports of megalodons in the Mariana Trench, but don't head out there to find if the reports are true. The Mariana Trench is now a U.S. protected zone, and research requests must go through the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service and the Federated States of Micronesia. Still, whether reports of megalodons living in the Mariana Trench are real or not, there are plenty of people out there who would like to believe it's real. So, do you think megalodons could still be alive? If they had evolved in the Mariana Trench, what do you think they would look like now? Share your thoughts with us in the comment section. And don't forget to click subscribe to stay on the Bright Side of Life!